Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 2. Since last time, I earned up enough money to go ahead and purchase that chain sickle. So let's do that over here. Uh, I got up to level 6 as well, incidentally. So it's actually pretty cheap, yeah. Not that bad. And 5 extra attack power. Always helps. Uh, no, I'm good, I think. Um, hold on to the copper sword that uh, you have. Don't sell that, because that will come in very handy very soon. Anyway, let's head north over to Canock Castle. Should be right on over here. Hey, hey, there it is! I heard that in the original version of this game, um, the, the... They were like playtesting it, and then they found some balance issues in it. And they were able to fix some balance issues um, in the early game. One noticeable thing was that they moved Cannot Castle closer to Leftwin. Uh, it used to be much further to the west. So, yeah. They were able to spend some time balancing, uh, again, the earlier uh, portion of the game. But the later portion of the game? Not so much. Although, all that's been fixed here in the um, SNES version. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, there's some fairy water here, which works just the same way as it did in the first game, acting as a repel spell. But I need as many battles and as much gold and experience as I can possibly get. Hey there. Oh. Oh. Yeah, he's kind of a wuss, actually. Like, this game, you're pretty much, um, you're given your hero, who's a really good physical attacker, and then you're given kind of backup mages. Which is fine, it's just another way that this game's pretty difficult, but, like, that guy's not exaggerating. He's really more of a mage than anything. New to the SNES version, we actually have a weapon shop here. This was not in the NES version, basically he sells everything that the uh, merchant over in Leftwin sold. So that's pretty nice if you want to come over here and grind up and all that. You don't have to go all the way back to Leftwin. So, yeah, pretty cool. Oh, no, 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 go back to the door! Please, please, please go back to the door! There we go. Perfect! Oh, okay, the silver key. Huh. Really? You don't say? He's talking about the silver-edged doors, like these doors are silver-edged, but he's not talking about these doors. These are the Jailer's doors, and we can't actually open them with the silver key. Oh. Well, I guess that's why you're locked up. Yeah, you should probably take your own advice, you hypocrite. Okay. Well, will do. So yeah, we have multiple different types of doors in this game, rather than just one type of door in the first game. Oh, the heathens will be destroyed! Yikes! One of those crazy fundamentalists? Hmm. Ha! Huh. Some treasure that's locked up, and that poor old man locked up with the treasure. Man, she'd be a skeleton or something. Oh, Prince Rolando. Okay. So, if Rolando is my cousin, and he has the blood of Erdrick, doesn't this sister... Like, isn't she also my cousin? Doesn't she also have the blood of Erdrick in her veins? Like, why doesn't she join us? Ugh. I guess she's too lazy to join us. I don't know. Like, that would be a really cool fourth party member. But, yeah, that uh, it's not really the case. That's unfortunate. Oh, okay. Well, great. Yeah. As we all know in role-playing games, news travels faster than we do. Oh, the Spring of Bravery, far to the north of Middenhall. Okay. Yeah, hey there. Oh, and your son is going there. Huh. Oh, okay, will do. And yeah, this king can save your game. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do that. Yeah, I have a level 18 file. So sue me, I was test playing, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue, so that's fine. Let's go on over here. Hey there. Oh, I guess this is the, um, the bedrooms or something. Like, who's sleeping out here? Is this for, like, the maids or something? Because in there would be, I guess, for the king? Maybe Rolando? guess. I don't know. I mean, it looks like the girl has her own room, the crazy bitchy sister. So, yeah. Okay, so we need to head on over towards the Spring of Bravery, 
and uh, I got a couple medical herbs from drops from monsters, and I bought that antidote herb last time. So just make sure that you are at full HP, and I am, because I went to the inn, and uh, yeah, head on out. We should be fine with one antidote herb. Hopefully I don't eat my words. Okay, here we have a new enemy, the Wild Mouse. I'll leave it alive for a little bit just so you can see what it can do. Or it can miss. That works too. Sure. Yeah, and the Drakey actually runs away from me now. I'm just that powerful. It's glorious. Okay, so yeah. Um, the encounter rate in this game has also been greatly reduced, and the experience and gold that you would get in encounters has been um, roughly doubled. So it really does decrease the amount of grinding that you have to do. Also, costs of items have been reduced as well. So that's pretty nice. And here we are at the Spring of Bravery. Let's head on inside. And we don't even need a torch or a radiant spell or anything. Very nice. Yeah, holding on to torches and um, having to waste your MP on the radiant spell. Not really a fan of all of that. Anyway, what do we have? What do we have? Ooh, yet another medical herb. So even if I do get poisoned in here, which is kind of a long shot, um, at least I'll have plenty of medical herbs, just in case I run out of my one antidote herb. But I should be fine. Okay, so let's go on through here. And whenever you're entering these kind of darkened rooms, at least in the NES version, um, it was like... It was about a 50% chance of running into an enemy every time that we had a room transition like that. But I believe that they got rid of that in this version. It was supposed to kind of emulate how you're going around like a darkened corner and you know, you never know what's going to be behind like a, a dark corner. So yeah, but it's kind of nice that they got rid of that, especially for later dungeons in the game, which can be very, very rough. Okay, we're doing actually really well, not in running into uh, any enemies that can poison you. So that's really kind of perfect. Unless they just removed all the poisoning enemies in this version of the game, which could be the case. You know, making it a little bit easier, but I don't think so. Anyway, get another antidote herb. And let's go on over here, and I guess this must be my cousin. Kinda sucks that he's an old ass man, but that guy at the end did say that he was frail. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, actually I am. Oh. Huh. So he wants to join me too. And he's headed for Middenhall. So he just healed me all the way up. So I'm just going to get on out of here and meet you back in Middenhall. I've made my way back home. So let's see if we can't find the prince. Must be around here somewhere. Maybe he went over to see uh, the king. Huh, I don't see him here either. Hey there, dad. Yeah. Oh, so I guess we just missed him. Oh. Really? So if we just never left here in the first place then, um, like, we wouldn't even have to deal with all this? Ugh. Yeah. So, apparently he left here, and I guess he's going back home. But remember what his sister said about him being lazy? He probably took a break over and left when. I'm just going to meet you there. Here I am. Huh. What's that unique character sprite doing over here in the inn? He wasn't here before, was he? Oh, hey, hey, awesome! Uh, yep. You would think that they would, like, know each other. Their kingdoms aren't that far apart. And they're cousins, for God's sakes. But, hey, hey, more party members with Rolando joining our team. He's weak and frail, but sure, whatever. Better than nothing, I guess. Actually, I kind of like Rolando. He's not that bad. I think that he gets a bad rap. Okay, so let's see. Looking here at Rolando, he comes with the leather armor and the club, but what I want to do is actually give him the chain sickle, which will greatly increase his attack power, and then go ahead and equip David back with the copper sword. And let's see, go ahead and equip you with that chain sickle. Perfect! And then hopefully 
I, after selling the club, I will have enough money in order to buy a chain mail for him as well. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and sell that club. Oh, hoo hoo! Nice! I have, like, just enough to buy it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be giving this to Rolando because he's weak and frail, just like that guy said. And, uh, yeah, he needs all the help that he can get. Besides, David can pretty much one-shot everything that he comes across anyway. Okay, so let's see, we got the chain sickle, the chain mail on him. One nice thing about him, as you can see, he is labeled a paladin. He is kind of a hybrid fighter, and he does get some attack spells, actually. He's not just all healing and attack. Um, but for the most part, they do focus on defensive capabilities and healing and stuff like that. But again, he's a hybrid um, person, attacker, character, whatever. But thankfully, he comes with the heal spell, which is so, so good. Yeah. So there's a couple things that I want to do uh, while we're here. We heard about a monolith over here to the west that we could go to in order to make our way to um, Moonbrook. So, yeah, let's go uh, check that out. Oh, wow. Even with that chain sickle, level one Ro Rolando is not able to one-shot these guys. If we ran into slimes or whatnot, then yeah, he could one-shot them, but right now, not so much. Here we have a new enemy, the Spook, or the Ghost Mouse in the NES version. And just like all enemies, for the most part, on this first continent, it's pretty much vanilla. It's not really um, anything to speak of, so yeah. Oh, here's that monument. Hey there. Uh, no, I haven't. Oh, really? Huh, let's see what happens if we say yes. Oh, well you suck. Okay, well great. We can pass through, but this guy did say to head over to the monument to the south. Um, and I want to do that real quick. So I'm just going to meet you at Middenhall. I've made my way here just in time to get into a battle. Great game. Great. That's just lovely. So yeah, let's head on down to the south and uh, see what this guy has to say for himself. So at this point, Rolando actually in my travels has gained up to level two. So now he's pretty much, you know, if he's dealing eight-ish damage, he should be able to hold his own against um, these enemies down here. So he's kind of nice. He's just kind of there to mop up, you know, kind of remaining enemies. So yeah, he comes in handy. It's helpful. Like, I don't want to trash him or anything. He's good, and he's actually been... Um, much more well-balanced in this version of the game than he ever was in the NES version of the game. Okay, let's see. Hey, there's the monument. Sweet! Oh, hey there, old man. What do you have to say for yourself? I probably could have talked over that fire, but eh, whatever. Two kinds of keys, a golden key and a silver key, and two types of doors. Huh. Okay, well, where is the silver key? hidden inside the lake cave west of Canock, and we'll go there on search for the silver key next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest 2. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.